Good evening, everybody. My name is Scott Jacobs, and you're listening to Juiced Sports Radio. And Peyton Manning is going to the Denver Broncos. Yes, the San Francisco 49ers, the surprise mystery team that emerged late last weekend, are out of the running for Peyton's services, along with the Cardinals, along with the Titans, along with the Dolphins, along with the Seahawks and the Chiefs. And Peyton Manning is heading to the Mile High, replacing the Mile High Messiah, Tim Tebow, who the Broncos will reportedly look to trade. Yes, Peyton Manning has made his decision, and he is taking his talent to Denver. Not a huge surprise, but given the fact of how loaded San Francisco is, both on defense and now with their running game and uh, some of the pieces they've added recently, a lot of people thought San Francisco was the front runner. A lot of people thought if you put Peyton Manning in that offense with Jim Harbaugh, that they're equipped to win a Super Bowl right now. But Peyton Manning does not always pick the conventional wisdom. His father went to Ole Miss, his brother went to Ole Miss, and he chose Tennessee. So if you want to know something about Peyton Manning, it's that he doesn't always do what everyone thinks he's going to. And so he is headed to Denver to sign with the Denver Broncos. They're trying to agree on contract terms as we speak. Reportedly, the deal will be for roughly five years and $95 million. Obviously, Denver will have um, provisions in the contract protecting themselves should Manning and his surgically repaired neck be unable to perform. And obviously, if he is unable to perform for the team, Denver is in trouble. And yes, there is a little bit of a risk here, but there is a big upside. Denver won the AFC West last season with a mediocre team at best. Obviously, Tim Tebow had his problems. Yes, he had a million comebacks and took the Twitter world by storm. But at the end of the day, John Elway wanted your prototypical drop-back passer. And Peyton Manning is just that. Not only is he a prototypical drop-back passer, he's won four NFL MVPs. He's taken the Colts to two Super Bowls, winning one. Let's see what else he's got on his accolades. He's an 11-time Pro Bowler, a three-time second-team All-Pro, a four-time NFL MVP, a six-time AFC Player of the Year. He's the Colts' all-time leader in career wins, passing touchdowns, pass attempts, pass completions, and passing yards. The guy is pretty good. Obviously, if the Colts felt that he was 100% healthy, they would have brought him back and paid him his signing bonus. So as I said, there is some question regarding his health. But if Peyton Manning is healthy, this is a big-time coup for the Broncos, who immediately become the AFC West favorites over Kansas City and San Diego, I guess along with the Raiders. Um, when you look at Peyton Manning, he's the fastest ever to reach 50,000 passing yards, fastest to 4,000 completions. He's an NFL All-Decades 2000s team, and he's won so many other awards you can't even count. Surprisingly, he never won a Heisman at Tennessee but or a national championship. But let's get back to the point. John Elway was able to get, back the, get the quarterback in tow that he wanted, and he lands Peyton Manning. What a big fish for the Broncos to get. Does Peyton Manning make the Broncos a Super Bowl contender overnight? I'm not sure. Demarius Moore or Demarius Thomas and uh, Willis McGay here are some nice pieces, but the Broncos do lack um, the offensive firepower that I'd say a team like San Francisco could have given him when you talk about pieces like Frank Gore, Mario Manningham, and Vernon Davis. But Peyton Manning was obviously more comfortable in Denver. As uh, reports have been saying, it's sort of in between being a Midwest and a West city. It's sort of in the middle of those two. Peyton Manning, we all thought he wanted to play in an air-conditioned dome. He goes for chilly Denver. We thought he wanted to be close to his condo in Miami. He goes for chilly Denver. We thought that he wanted warm weather. He goes for chilly Denver. So at the end of the day, most of us in our thinking were wrong. And you know what? I wish Peyton Manning all the luck in the world. He's obviously a joy to watch as a quarterback. He's an unbelievable player. Do I think this marriage will work out? I think there will be success. I'm not sold, though, if they'll win a Super Bowl with Manning. It's obviously very difficult <clears throat> to win a Super Bowl title with an older quarterback. We've seen only a handful of quarterbacks ever do it. I believe the number is like five after the age of 36. Peyton Manning is approaching that age. But for Denver, that's neither here nor there. They land their Manning. What do you make of the move? Will Denver win a Super Bowl with Manning? My name is Scott Jacobs. You've been listening to Juiced Sports Radio. 
Let's see what you think below. That's it from here.